Hey guys, good morning. So I'm back from the Poconos with me and my girlfriend's trip. Uh, I have like a clip or two for you guys to show you. So we're out here in the middle of Pennsylvania and our sick dog and sick girlfriend. Yeah, this is what they call off the grid living in America. It doesn't use electricity or water or anything, just everything's solar powered or off of rainwater. And that thing, <laughs> yeah, it's literally like a straight up like shack. Like this is like so cliche, like, I don't know, redneck, if that's the word for it. Oh, there's a little doorknob thing to mug it. That's the, that's the John. Oh! Oh, this closed or not, but. <laughs> what is this, is this like hand sanitizer? Light, honey. Oh, <laughs> oops. That's what we're doing this weekend. It's literally crazy beautiful out here, like, Look at all the mountains around us. And this, this is the one benefit of America is the amount of freaking property you could have in these like, I don't know how to say, country areas. This entire whole stretch, and it goes all the way down there is all like this dude's property and he has like multiple cabins to stay on. And this is the cabin that's on top of the hill. I just want to share with you guys what I've been doing this weekend. Back to the regularly scheduled program and making this damn GTR sick. So I'm thinking that today I'm actually going to be the other side of the flare, the bumper flare piece. And I'm probably going to make a continuation of this flare. I'm going to try to make some decent progress today. I'm going to basically, like I said, make the other, make the other piece like this, which is just going to be trace this onto paper and just flip it and that's gonna be for the other side. There's no reason why this shouldn't work for the other side because the bumper's identical on both sides. I'm looking to have this rear end of the kit mounted by the end of this week. That's the goal and we are doing four videos this week because on Wednesday, my girl, it's Wednesday is my girlfriend's birthday, Rachel. And uh, on that day, I don't think I'm gonna record anything because we're probably just gonna go to the beach with the dog or something like that, I really don't know, but. So as you can see, this piece now has the round edge. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it based on this line. Um, just clean it up, uh, do a quick test fit, and then from there, after that, uh, I can basically start piling on Bondo into the imperfection areas. Basically, usually what I do with the body filler is I literally cover the entire thing with body filler, just because it makes it easier. Especially with fiberglass, I mean, like, if you see, there's like, they're, it's the fiberglass hair, so either way, it's either you sand a bunch 
and you make it thinner and less stronger or you just put bondo on top of it make it all smooth and good and then we could probably even start making uh, the little brackets on the inside that are going to be uh, screwed into the rear bumper. Wow look how thick I look. So guys, I kind of made an oopsie. Once again, ignore, I feel like every time I work, make videos, they're mowing the lawn. But basically, basically, I put the fiberglass on the wrong side. I made it curved. The, I, I basically duplicated the same exact side for that side. I forgot to flip it, flip the piece of paper before I made the curve. So it actually wants the curve the opposite way. But basically, as you can see, I forced it with two heavy objects and had to tape it. And now I'm just gonna let the do do the edge so it can set like that in that curve because it's not very happy to be curving like this because it's supposed to curve the other way but I just basically forced it to, to do like this. So crisis averted, as you can see, it's dried up. It's all good, facing the right way. This actually kind of saves a little bit of time in a sense only because now this part is actually smooth and I can like lightly sand it and I don't have to bondo this area. I just have to sand through the paper. That's really it. But now I'm, prob I'm just going to go ahead and cut that edge and then I'll probably start taping off to make this uh, round edge on the bottom just like I did for that side. So I did some measuring and trimming to the, both the flares, um, just mounting them wise because I realized they're actually different widths, slightly by like eighth of an inch or so, so I made them equal. Um, so I figured I'm probably going to mount the flare on this side first or at least start working towards that because I can't really do anything with the bumper flares or attach them or anything until the flares are permanent position because obviously it's more important about where the flare sits on the, on the quarter than where the actual arch sits on the bumper because the bumper is going to be permanently mounted too. So first I'm just going to extend that side flare because like I said I have to make this one longer down all the way to the side skirt just like that one is. You can see that piece right there. So right now I'm just going to make this and then afterwards I'm going to lay this flat and make remake this entire edge and make it come out an inch and a half just like that one because the edge is supposed to be an inch and a half. Um, this one for the most part is already really smooth I'm just gonna have to probably use some bondo for the edge to make it re kind of redo the edge and everything but Then it should be good then I can maybe start making the brackets on the inside and kind of Figure out how I'm gonna be drilling and screwing that into the car to keep it on while I'm molding the flare into the quarter So as you can see I made this It's pretty straight as is but yeah, I obviously we'll do sanding so now I'm literally just gonna lay this flat as you've seen me done like already two or three times, something like that. Um, lay this flat, then basically like that, and just build it. I think it's already at an inch, so we'd be building maybe another. I'm just going to do an inch for safety, just because, you know, in some areas it's not. And then have it go all the way down there, then boom, we got an edge. And then after that, we can probably actually just a little bit of Bondo, a little bit of sanding. Um, and then we can... Uh, we can put it like that and make 90 degree brackets. I'm probably only going to need three, probably like one there, one there, and then one all the way.
so as you can see now I made the edge and I'm just gonna cut it one and a half inches all around etc 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 and then I am probably gonna start filling Bondo and getting it smooth because it's really easy to make it smooth while it's off the car than when it's on the car I can still do it when it's on the car it's just it sucks because I have to run a cord out there be out in the sun versus just this which is inside the nice garage First, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this all the bondo off the edge. It should be pretty quick, like a couple minutes. Um, and then after that, I can uh, drill a hole through these and put it on the car, mark the holes, take it off, drill through the body, put it back on, and kind of like kind of jam a screwdriver in there and screw it through the bracket into the flare. And I think that would be, and I'm, I'm going to leave the screws on anyway, um, just in case, I mean, for whatever reason, if the molding breaks, the flare won't go flying, I highly doubt it's going to break, um, I have a whole ton of screws here, so. later nights I've worked quite honestly so yeah, it's pretty awesome to see the flare actually on but obviously it's a little bit loose because the brackets kind of come out instead of come in but uh, tomorrow I'm actually gonna start throwing that material fiberglass resin fiberglass mats fiberglass bondo filler and or maybe I'll focus on the other flare before I even get to the other one so we'll see but I'm pretty happy see you guys tomorrow for another video